Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solution. Today we are going to discuss about performance management. So first let's talk about what is performance management. So every business organization has a founding vision and sets its goal and objective in line with what the business hopes to achieve. So among the key contributor that helps meet these objectives is the company's actual human capital right the employees or the workforce so despite several substractor being put in place there remains a growing needs to smooth performance so every member of the organization and to bridge the wide gap between expectations and result so the performance management quite simply refers to the process of monitoring an organization's activity to ensure that employees meet set up goals and the objective. It encompasses priority setting, employees training, continuous supervisions, offering consistent yet constructive feedback. So performance reviews and suggesting remedical measures also. So there is also some characteristics of the performance management. So first is the planning which is a setting clear goals and objectives. So that's how we can plan to set clear goals and the objective for the employees or the organization. So setting proper goals for employees, one of the initial steps that leads to increase employee productivity as well as organization productivity. Second is the assessment. So it's uh, so employees free, uh, communication with the employees and real time feedback helps to the performance. So an effective performance management system helps you to create a culture of ongoing communication about your team and goals, training, etc. So communicating frequently with direct reports and giving them real-time feedback not only keeps them motivated to do their best, but also give them an opportunity to improve themselves constantly without having to wait till the next performance review. Okay, so this also helps manager keep track of employee progress from time to time and give them suggestion to improve their performance over the same quarter instead of waiting till their annual performance review. Then second is a, sorry, next one is a review. So an ideal performance management system align everyone in the organization with the company's mission and vision. The manager and their direct report meet for their performance review where the direct report assess their own performance first. Then the manager review the performance of their direct report over a period and give them suggestion on where to improve and how to improve. An ideal performance management system align everyone in the organization with the company's mission and vision. So the manager and their direct report meet for their performance review where the direct report assess their own performance first. Okay, so next one is a leading. This function involves articulating a vision, uh, energizing the employees, inspiring and motivating people using vision, influence, persuasion and effective communication skills. And the last is the controlling. So evaluate how well you are achieving your goals, improving performance, taking action. So put process in place to help you establish standard so you can measure, compare and make decisions. So there is an example how we can uh, measure the performance of the employee and how it impact on the compensation. So let's just go to the Excel sheet first, then move to the application where you can configure a task related to the performance management. Okay, so in this Excel sheet, you can see here that Ellen Cook is the HR, HR analyst. Okay, and the Curtis Feedy is manager. So here you can see the performance factors and the here you can see the setting table and performance according to the points right and this is a salary increment matrix so if salary is between 0 to 20 then employee salary increment percentage is the 2 percent and 21 to 40 it's 4 41 to 60 it's 6 and so on okay so let's 
give the performance number here according to these points the increment percentage is visible here okay so for example uh, product quality is a satisfactory work quality is a also satisfactory and the consistency is also a satisfactory right let's communication is good the independent work is good and the creativity is a satisfactory right the group work is a good the attendance is good and also uh, the responsibility is excellent and the technical skill is is the excellent okay so the overall point is a 39 here you can see that and where's fall under 21 to 40 right so here you can see the increment and in, increment percentage automatically change and it's a four percentage here you can see that right if i want to uh, give group work is excellent here so here you can see it's down to the 40 right and it's fall under the 21 to 40 okay let's uh, change any uh, let's see creativity is also a excellent right it's turned to the 42 and here you can see the 41 60 it's a six percentage automatically change here okay so that's how the performance factor and perform performance of the employee impact to the salary according to the performance employee got their appraisals or the increments okay so let's just move to the application now where we can configure task related to the performance so i'm just going to the my client group and here you can see the performance option under the apps so let's click on the performance app here and here you can create tasks related to the performance management these are the administration these are the setup and maintenance right so you can create here you can create your question questionaries performance rules eligibility feedback templates right and profile rating models all the tasks related to the performance management you can create here okay so i hope you understand about the performance management overview how performance impact to the salary and where you can create your task related to the performance management in the application thank you so much for watching the video